marriage baptism. number by Sister Rebecca Hammock and Audrey, Brianna, and Candace Helm. And following that uh, musical number, which is called Baptism, we'll have a talk by your home teacher, that's Jerry Bam, and he's going to talk to us about baptism. So, sisters? things that you probably all learned, already learned about from your missionary lessons about uh, baptism and what it is. So and we're going to use a few scriptures to help you along here. Okay, first off, you probably learned from the missionaries that baptism is a, uh, is a requirement and a commandment to belong to our Father in Heaven's church and kingdom here on this earth.
I'm from Canada. Uh, I never got to teach in Arab, but I've met him a few times. And he was such a such a great guy. And he really has a strong testimony of the of the gospel. I know that that this is the the true church of Jesus Christ. That through revelation, Joseph Smith was able to to restore to the earth in, in uh, 1830 that he did see God, the eternal Father, and, and the Son, Jesus Christ. I know that the Book of Mormon is the Word of God, and that as we study it and read it, we too can find out for ourselves whether or not it's, it is the Word of God. In, in Moroni, we are promised, if we sincerely want to know, if it is true, we can pray to ask God. And if we sincerely desire to know, if we have faith in Jesus Christ, then the Holy Ghost will manifest the truth of it unto us. I know that this promise is true. I've taken advantage of it in my own mind more than once. And because of that, I, I do know that the Book of Mormon is the Word of God. And because it is the Word of God, I know that Joseph Smith was and is a true prophet of God. And that the church he restored, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, is the Lord's church on this earth today. I, I want to bear that testimony to you. I want to share this with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> Um, I'm Elder Danielson. None of you can know me because I just got here two days ago. Well, this yesterday, actually. Um, I'm fresh out of the MTC. Um, I know that baptism is the right step and that the Lord has commanded us to do it. And through being baptized, so we can, we're able to access His pro the promises He has given us. Um, uh, the Holy Ghost is... Uh, the gift that he has promised after we are baptized by authority. And I know for myself that the Holy Ghost will watch over us and that he'll guide us and help us through any situation that we have, that we run into in this life. Um, again, I know that baptism is the right step and that it'll help us in the long run to do always to obey the commandments. And that's the essence of the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I guess it's my turn. I get to take just a minute here and get to talk to you a little bit about the Holy Ghost. You remember uh, the other night when we sat down and we talked about your gospel standards. And we talked about all the different commandments and the different promises that you made and some of the things that you're going to promise to do as far as keeping His commandments and, and doing all those things. Well, our Heavenly Father has given us something very special, and He's the third member of the Godhead, and His name is the Holy Ghost. Okay? We have our Heavenly Father, and we have Jesus Christ, and then we have the Holy Ghost. Now, the Holy Ghost is a little bit different, okay, than our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. And the thing that makes him special is that he doesn't have a body. He is only a spirit. Okay? And, by, and because of that, he's able to communicate directly with the spirits inside our own bodies, which is something very special. Uh, during the winter months, do you have a very special blanket that kind of makes you feel warm and comfortable? Well, the Holy Ghost is a little bit like that blanket. Okay? He's going to make you feel warm inside, He's going to make you feel comfortable. He's going to be there to protect you from the cold. He's going to make sure that he's there for you. But what happens if you throw that cover off? That's exactly right. And that's the way the Holy Ghost works. All those different commandments that we talked about the other day, if we live those commandments and we do the things that we're supposed to, then the Holy Ghost is going to be there for us. He's going to be there to comfort us. He's going to be there to bless us, and He's going to be there to protect us, okay? Now, 
up to this point, you probably had the opportunity from time to time, as the elders in particular had the opportunity to come in and teach you guys the missionary lessons, okay? There was probably times when you felt the influence of the Holy Ghost, where you felt what the missionaries were teaching you was correct and true, okay? The neat part right now is right after we get through here, we're going to confirm you a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and we're going to give you the gift of the Holy Ghost. And what that means is that you're going to be able to have his constant companionship, okay? To be with you always, as long as you do what? Um, Keep there you go. Very good. There's the key thing right there. It's important for you to keep the commandments. And if you'll keep the commandments and attend your church and pray and read your scriptures and set a good example for your brothers, then the Holy Ghost is going to be with you. Now, the Holy Ghost helps witness, okay? You witnesses of the truth. Do you know what it means to witness? What do you think it means? To testify, to tell about the truth, okay? That's kind of what it means, all right? And so he's going to witness to you of all the things that you study and you learn about, whether those things are true or not, okay? He's going to help you in times when you get into places where you shouldn't probably be, okay? And you have to make a decision what's right and wrong. If you're living your life the way you should, he'll bless you and help you understand what choices you should make. Okay? And so he's going to be like a big brother who's looking after you and making sure that you don't make mistakes. Just like you, James, huh? You'll make sure that Neric never makes any mistakes, right? There you go. Okay. And so that same... Uh, like having a mom or a dad or a grandma or a big brother, they're going to be there for you, okay? And the Holy Ghost is going to be there for you. All you have to do is listen carefully so that you can hear him, okay? But I am, but it's up to us to obey the commandment so that he can be there to help us and to support us and to help us so that we can learn the truth of all things. Because the promise that's in the Book of Mormon tells us that if we do the things that we're supposed to, that the Holy Ghost will help us understand and know the truth of all things. And that's a great blessing. And I leave this with you in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Brand new and priesthood here. And place one hand lightly on top of his head and the left hand on the shoulder right next to him. How about a hug? You give me a hug. <laughs> give the welcome, but you know, as a good bishop and one who loves to delegate, guess what I'm about to do? I'm going to ask Sister Boren, who is our primary president, to come and welcome you into our primary as the newest member of our board. Would that be all right, Sister Boren? Thank you. Sister Boren, I just want to say congratulations. There was this pause at the other end. I wasn't quite sure he knew who I was. I talk a lot on Sunday, but I'm not sure he knows my name. Um, anyway, officially, welcome into the church. I'm very, very happy for you. I think that you've made the, the wonderful decision for yourself, and there's so many neat and exciting things that are going to be available for you, and that going to happen to you, and and it's just going to be wonderful. It really is. And I'm um, very glad that you're you're in our primary with us, Neri, because you always have good things to say in our discussions, and I can tell how hard you've listened and, and how, how well you've been taught to by the missionaries and other people that have, that have taught you because you really do know quite a bit. And um, I just want you to know that I have a testimony that the gospel is true. I have a testimony that this church is the true church of Jesus Christ. And um, I never, ever regretted being baptized, ever. And I've been baptized for a long, long time now. And nothing has ever made me regret that. Either. So... 
I just leave my testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Go get in there. 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 Go get in